capacity to make them support grow businesses. And another initiative is our support for disabled women entrepreneurs in Ghana. Disability is never inability. Countries population, five percent of the country's population is made up of people with disability. Five percent of thirty million people with disability. They are discriminated against. We think that they cannot deliver. But Mr. President thinks otherwise. We cannot build an inclusive Ghana if we live a section like disabled persons, five percent. Mr. President wants to involve everybody, women, disabled, young, youth, everybody in this development agenda and carry everybody for it to build the Ghana that we all want. We therefore launch a fund to support 1,000 women disabled persons in Ghana who do business. We've supported 100 of them. It's not just giving them the money. We train them, build their capacity. Then when they start the business, we monitor them. We're going to do that with them for a very long time. And it's, it's very good. We started around April, March, April. And we have uh, Mrs. Charlie. Seamstress, she should employ new girls, two new girls, disabled person. She's bought an industrial machine. We have Regina, who was used to be in a container. She moved from container to her own shop. And we have Mohammed Asana, who was had a shop in her house. She's moved to a bigger container. All this demonstrates that if you support people, disabled person with disability, they will do themselves. Just last week, we had another batch support. And my sister is here one of those who benefited from last week's uh, several program. We intend to do that and to support 1,000 young people by close of next year with funding, with training to build their capacity. And next year also launch one for men. Yes. We we'll launch one for men, but we'll give 500 to men, not 1,000 men. <laughs> So that the council build their capacity by it, so that in due course, Ghana will move forward with everybody.